Hey guys, today's makeup look is inspired by one of my favorites, Ashwarya Rai. This was a look that she wore to Cannes Film Festival and I felt so inspired by all the color that she wore, I just had to recreate her look. I'm starting off by moisturizing my skin with three drops of my Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. My skin has been super dry lately, so this is just going to help moisturize it and give me a really beautiful dewy glow. For my foundation today, I'm using NARS Tinted Moisturizer and I'm just using my hands to melt this into my skin. Ashwarya always looks super flawless and natural. Even when she's wearing color, her base is always very natural looking. So that's why I'm using this and then the areas where I need a little bit more color Coverage. I'm just using some of this Clinique foundation stick and then blending it on with my damp beauty blender. To conceal and highlight, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the color Light Neutral. And as you can see, I put it under the eye and then I create this swoop right under the apple of my cheek just to make it look a little bit more apple-y like Ashwarya's. And then I'm just taking my damp beauty blender and blending this all in. I'm also taking whatever concealer is left over on my damp beauty blender and applying it onto my lid as an eyeshadow primer. Now to set that concealer in place, I'm using the Tarte Double Duty Powder Foundation in the color Light Beige. And again, I'm picking it up on my damp beauty blender and just setting the under eye in place, the lid in place, around my nose, and a little bit around my mouth. To give my face a very slight bronze and contour, I'm using the L'Oreal Glam Bronze in the shade Deep. Ashwarya never has a strong under eye concealer highlight or a strong bronzer going on, so I'm using a very light hand. Then for my cheeks, I'm using the new Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette, which is bomb. I raved about this on my Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat if you want to see some swatches. And I'm taking the color Rosé Spritz and just applying that all over my cheeks. It is gorgeous. Then I'm just taking this Bare Minerals Duo and I'm taking the matte powder and just dusting this all over my face. This is just going to give you a really beautiful glow from within, healthy skin look. Now to highlight, I'm using the highlighter from the Bare Minerals Duo and popping this on all the high points of my cheeks. This is not a blinding in your face highlight. This is a very subtle, natural looking highlight, which Ashoria always has. So if you're afraid of a strong highlight, try this duo out. You might really like it and it'll warm you up to using stronger highlights. Then for my brows, I'm just using my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and setting my brows in place. And I was looking at Ashoria's picture and it's like, how is this woman so beautiful? But I was just checking out her brows and I noticed that her brows are more arched and natural looking. So I did I didn't change the shape of my brows, I just kept my natural shape and gave myself a little bit more of an arch. Then for my lid, I'm taking a big fluffy brush and I'm grabbing the bronzer that I used on my face a little earlier on and just buffing this into my crease as a transition. Now I'm just grabbing this teal eyeliner from L'Oreal and I'm creating a very heavy wing. You don't need to be too precise with this, you just want it to be thicker on the outer corner and then you're going to grab a pencil brush and you're just going to buff and blend this out. You want to have a very thick liner look, so don't worry about being too, too precise with this. You just want the wing to be pretty sharp. And I'm also taking a little bit of this into the crease and blending it into the crease just to cut the crease a little. Ashoria's lid space is much larger than mine, so you don't really see the cut on my lid as much. But if you have larger lid space, this is going to look gorgeous. Then I'm just setting that eyeliner in place with this teal eyeshadow from L'Oreal. I don't know all the names of this off by heart, so I'll have everything listed in the description box below. Now just a little disclaimer, this is going to look horrible until we're done, so just be patient with it. Then I'm grabbing that same color again on a fluffier brush and I'm blending this a little bit more into the crease. The smaller the brush you use, the more color payoff you're going to get. The fluffier the brush, the more diffused the color is going to be. So you can use the same color with different brushes and get a totally different look. Now I'm grabbing this light grayish blue color also from L'Oreal and I'm popping this in the inner corner and entire lid and kind of blending it into that teal color.
You really want to take your time and build up this inner corner color. As you can see, I'm focusing most of the color on that inner corner. Then I'm grabbing that teal shadow again on my same fluffy brush that I used for the inner corner and I'm applying this on the outer part of the lid and merging it with that lighter color that we just applied. Now I'm going to take a black eyeliner pencil and line my tight line and my waterline. Can you see that focus in my face? I'm trying so hard not to make that hideous bird face when I'm putting this on my waterline. It was hard. You can see my lips twitching like, no, I need to make the face. Shout out to all the people who can go on their lower lash line and not make that face. You are goals. <laughs> so now I'm just taking this blue eyeliner from L'Oreal Still Kiss Me and I'm popping this roughly on my lower lash line and then I'm going to grab my pencil brush and I'm going to blend this out and smoke it out. To set that blue eyeliner in place, I'm grabbing this really beautiful blue eyeshadow and I'm picking it up on a skinny flat brush and just smoking out that lower lash line a little more. Now that the eye makeup is done, it's time for mascara and I am using my favorite drugstore mascara of the moment which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar. This mascara makes your lashes humongous. You have to try it out. It has a primer on one end and then the actual mascara formula has little lash fibers to really thicken up and lengthen your lashes. I really wanted my lashes to be more fanned out though so I am being a little diva-ish and using a second mascara which is the Benefit Roller Lash which really fans out your lashes. For my lips, I'm lining them with this Jordana lip liner and then using a plumping gloss from Soap & Glory called Koi Toy. Once I do that, the entire look is done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give me a great big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want to see some more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!